semis. Gusina, Falco. How are you feeling about it? Uh, I think this is didn't this was like a really hype set. This happened at Battle Z just recently, like last True, weekend. Honestly. Yeah. And hot set there, but it was 3 0 till day. So I can see like Mystery doesn't adapt quick. As in like if it's you beat him in one set, you could beat him in another one. He's not super bothered with Yui. So I can see it just going the same way. Or if he's not in the right spot, Tilde could just kind of lose. Mystery is like a constant bar of skill. And he doesn't like dip down as much as like other top players. But he dies off the top right there, so. Yeah, I mean, it's those type of clean combos that Falco really can brutalize, especially floatier characters like Lucina, who already can have a, a hard time getting out of disadvantage in midair. Falco's just gonna continuously pop you up and chase you down. And, I mean, it's what Tilde has quite literally made a living on. Yeah, you can watch a stream, right? Yeah, yeah, he streams often, but same does Mr. E as he finds the edge guard on the Falco Phantasm. A little bit lazy there on the part of Tilde, just trying to blurry back to ledge. Yeah, he caught him lacking. And Falco now with the greatest recovery, most exploitable, like basically most of the Star Fox characters, right. you can do this too. And Mr. E just knowing the path he's going for and just getting in there right there. But now in the blender, this is not looking good if you're a Mr. E fan. It's so hard to, like, really try and push advantage though when he is able to find ways to get to the ground like that's why i really have been enjoying about his disadvantage after that first uh first stock being so rough it's just how do i fastball air dodge swing just any way that can put me into falco's horizontal because then i can challenge his normal buttons with her disjoint yeah and mystery is a swinger from like and uh, he likes yeah. to come down with oh that S smash connected. He does like to come down with falling up air dares or like side B's just to mix up his timing. So if you even try to parry it to like get extensive punish, you can get messed up. And blocking, it, they're all safe on block. So he kind of sometimes gets down for free. But and we're seeing it right here as he lands with a fair right there. The patience in the part of E, but not patient enough when it comes to a yet another position, uh, positional advantage for Falco. But this is the hard part. Like you're outside of up tilt back air range. You're outside of most combo percents, except for maybe drag down fair into down tilt. As a, uh, that down tilt is exactly what Tilde is looking for, but no dice on the first one. A little bit too stale after whiffing it once. Yeah, and the air dodging right through that fair. Great decision making right there. And we've seen these down tilts come out. And yep. this is because Falco doesn't have any combos that will kill at this percent. So he's trying to look for like a raw kill move. Just trying to poke forever. The forward air not going to do it. Air dodge use though. Wow, that counter just enough delay. Great spacing on that. But the jump from ledge does get caught. And now you're in the Falco zone. This is the percentage where, I mean, Percent actually doesn't really matter at this point. Zero to 100 is not a problem for Tilde, especially with that parry, but kept going with the Dancing Blade in order to make it into this position. E trying to find the closing stock, but the reversal off of ledge from Tilde. Yeah, and falling out, up B, now sending him the other way. What's this ledge drop right here? Just bare. Great jump out of the corner from Tilde. And now we're back into neutral. It's so tense here, Reggie, but we're seeing Tode play with such pristine spacing, knowing that he can just find one hit, but the down tilt, tech roll in, gets by, he read it, but misspaced it. Yeah, you don't normally see Mr. E miss stuff like that. That's how you can know, like, the situation is so tense, and they both just want it. That nair was a huge risk, but Tode got away with it. Sometimes all you need to do is put on a little pressure and something can start to crack. People can start to swing haphazardly and that's where you can find openings. Like that double jump air dodge being burned, but Tilde spacing a little bit too far in, getting caught by the platform, resetting those jumps, resetting those resources. He just barely squeaking by in order to finish out that first game. Yeah, no, great job right there for Mr. E. Are we gonna? Uh, do we want to look at that replay for the last stock? Let's yeah. take a yeah, let's look at it real let's quick. Let's take, take a little peek. Cause I love like, this this position right here. Oh, okay. I gotta refresh my repick. But the ending position right in this moment is burning a ton of resources right off the bat here. Double jump use. You fair. You're drifting in. You have to drift in in order to reset so many of yeah. these resources. So. 
Yeah, you, double jump right there. Yeah. Air, like, dodge air dodging. Too. So Tilde naturally wants to play a little aggro in this moment, yet it's just a little bit off at the very end. And like that's the type of positions where it's like you see it, you react, you're in the right headspace for what you want to do, but you're just a yeah, little bit yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, it's like some minute seconds, and this is a game. It make a miss league, basically. Is I know that's a basketball saying, but that's essentially like Smash Bros. right there. If you can hit your combos, you get it. If you don't, then it's so unfortunate. And Tilde hitting that combo right there, taking Mr. E's first off in less than 30 seconds of this game. That's the type of answer back that you always want to see, especially since Tilde did have an early lead, but kind of slowly got whittled away by Mr. E and as the tempo favored the Lucina. But if you're able to instantly answer back your counter pick, your vibes, your your groove, and now Tilde gets to set the entire motion of the ocean for the remainder of this game if he plays his cards right. I, I like that saying, motion of the ocean. Yeah. Well, the I'm sun in the sky? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to steal this later. You're going to be like, on, you're going to be listening in. I was like, oh, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Uh, Oh. oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, just jump back up, Smash. <laughs> you know? He got it. <laughs> sometimes you just, you just let, it, you let it go. You let yeah. it swing. Get payback for the first uh, for the first game where E caught a really big F smash in the corner as well. Yeah, so by the pacing of this game right now, it's looking like we're going to a game three. <laughs> That's what it seems to be. And there's been a lot of game threes here today. Right? Yeah, like, we had so many killers. That's why. Yeah. Like 300, everybody came out. What was it? We had like 132 in attendance. Yeah. And our, and our 140? 140 players in our 128 capped bracket. Very yeah. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Salt and Bread with the subscription. Always down here for yet more Xenos. 300, 301 is going to happen next week. We are yeah. not going to catch action like this outside from a couple regionals, and this is just a Wednesday night. Yeah, I'm guessing everything's still best of three here. So, <laughs> it better be. <laughs> yeah, better be. <laughs> Oh, I like that a lot, actually, from Tilde. Overshooting on that forward air to maybe get a drag down, but since you missed, you're able to Phantasm back to ledge. Just, like, wi little ways to optimize to find confirms, because as seen, the Phantasm back air works for so long. So trying to find different ways and cheeky setups to make sure that you can land a Phantasm at varying positions, particularly in the corner, is just so valuable. Yeah, and if you're Mr. E, would you be scouting like just for what Tilde's doing, because you were getting like molly walked for most of the time. So if it was me in like that position, I'm like, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting destroyed game two. I'm gonna look at some for some habits here so right. I can exploit game three, and this is like the time to like use them. It's so uh, I I absolutely think that's what E was trying to do in yeah. a lot of those situations because there was a lot of risky plays which led to a three stocks one deficit yeah. of. Like, hey, I'm trying to make sure that I'm taking account of how Tilde likes to orient his offense right now. Yeah. And once you're able to start tallying all of those mix-ups and figuring out, oh, like when I'm a floaty, he's going to be start. He's actually been more hunting my landings rather than surely sharking. I can use that to my advantage. Like just little bits of information like that can pull all together into game three where you cash out and are able to uh, turn the tables on Tilde. Yeah, no, that's definitely the move to do. Yeah. But, or you could just be swinging. <laughs> yeah, or, you know, sometimes yeah. you let it rip. Yeah, Street known to let it rip. Yeah, especially, I miss the stage we were going to, but any sort of stage where it's wide enough, oh, yeah, yeah. this is, you know, that center platform, all of that coverage, Lucina, and just the stand, hold, shield, please fall into my loving arms. Yeah. Like, this is E just wanting to consume at space at a moment's notice and have that coverage on lock. Yeah, and definitely different from his last opener where he just ran up and just did fair and basically led to Tilde's, like, opening, and he died for it. Ooh, that cheeky air dodge down there, play four. We're seeing a whole, we're seeing that same aggro ness from Mr. E, especially when it comes to these platform play and how they've been finding ways around it. But there's that phantasm mix up off of ledge that oh. sets up for the stock, I guess. What the heck? No jump? Where did it go? <laughs> Nobody knows. 
Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> oh. Not oh, like this. No. All right. When <laughs> destiny calls. <laughs> Sometimes God has favorites. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. just not meant to work. <laughs> like, I, I, it's understandable. Yeah. Never it, say never, but... but this, is, like, this is going to be a hard one. Yeah, those are some unfortunate trades, because now you have to put yourself at risk, and Tilde just wants you to take any gambles, turn these 50% combos into more. The reset with the shine off drag down up He's there. Done. You are gone, sir. He's done. It's... Oh, man. Someone... Didn't go to church Sunday. No, that's, no. <laughs> that's, no. that's what I got from this. That's oh, what that yeah. set looked like, right? That's that was like what that was exactly what that game three seemed to yeah. kind of play out. Just oh man, like you kind of you you missed you missed some things there, not by your discretion, but by someone by someone uh, else's. Uh, higher <laughs> being. <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. That's tough for sure. But today's going to be the one moving on two one victory. But those games two and three did not feel close. No.